What's up guys, Overzealous Brainiac, and today I got the Senna Momentum Light, which is my helmet for this year's riding season, and I wanted to do like a semi-unboxing, semi-review, because I've already unboxed it, but I wanted to, you know, bring it to you guys and let you guys know when I'm rocking this year and how, you know, my Moto Vlog build will probably end up being. So the reason why I chose this one is, uh, this one right here has the four-way intercom, um, has the music. You know, the advanced noise cancellation, which is kind of something else I wanted. The water resistant, which I really wanted. It's because, you know, here in Chicago, it kind of snows. And it comes out of nowhere. Rain, same thing. Um, it has all that. Decent box. I love, actually love this box. And I love the packaging. Like I so, said, yeah, it's a decent box. Uh, you know, if you have other helmets or something you want to store in stores, this is a decent box to throw it in to get them going. Let's go ahead and take this up. Oh yeah, it's got all the other stuff in it too still. So it does come with a nice Sina helmet bag. You got in here your momentum like packaging. A whole bunch of different languages and you know your basic warning packaging that comes with it. Um, right here, you got your Senna Donut, which I am not. I won't blow up, but yeah. Your Senna Helmet Donut. Got the little packaging in with that. And of course, your uh, cable to charge. Charging cable is going to be on this, or charging port is going to be on this side, which is decent. So then, <clears throat> with this model, there won't be anything else on your. Uh, Excuse me. On your right side, all your buttons are going to be here. On your left, you have all these. But turn it around real quick. Hello. She's got a cool little voice. Now, since this is, is the light, um, and the reason why I chose the light, um, a couple of things when we were riding, like I will say, just right off the bat, I kind of do feel like it does need. A couple of things that come with the regular momentum like INC or uh, you know any of the other higher models it's cool about this too is here on the sides lift that up take these out makes it really quick and uh, easy to snap in your visors Excuse me. get this side out There we go. Now, the one thing that this does need after riding is it does come with it the pin lock uh, part, so you can put your pin lock visor in. I would highly suggest getting a pin lock visor for this thing, um, just due to the fact that when I was riding, if you're not getting a lot of airflow out, this does steam up. So I do advise getting that pin lock visor, which is something I will buy here shortly, um, just for the spring season. So definitely get that so that you won't be breathing in here and uh, steaming yourself up. Now with that, it is it does get a little humid. Um, I do wish they had a couple of more air vents. Um, but the reason why I brought this is more for us riding and stuff like that. We're in big groups. You know, most of my group right now I'm gonna consist more of. Uh, two or three extra people so this is the reason why I chose this model and didn't go with the the INC model or anything like that um, just so that I could you know stay with my crew uh, stay with the group and just to test this out too um, it does have a nice spot where I'm going to put my GoPro here and the reason why I didn't want to do like a Shoney helmet or a Bell helmet <clears throat> excuse me and do the whole uh, I guess you can say Cena on the side with them is just due to drift. I'm already going to have maybe a GoPro here on the front or it's going to be here on the side and I'm going to try to, you know, I'm just trying to maintain and keep as much drift off of my helmet as much as possible. So everything being built inside of here is, you know, it's pretty good for me. Um, now I know a lot of people are saying, you know, you can't charge this helmet on the go, which is totally fine with me because I honestly believe that you know stuff battery wise especially when it's close to your head like this I wouldn't want to be charging a battery as I'm riding next to my head because you know if something faulty happens with the battery and explodes I mean it's on the back of your head that's that's very unsafe 
Um, as far as, here, let's go ahead and put it on though, since I haven't done that for you guys yet. Bam. Now, I know a lot of people were talking about, like, they were talking about, like, they didn't seem like they had a lot of, I guess you could say, talking space in this. I feel like I have... I, I love that this is snug, and, uh, I know some people were saying that they don't seem like they can... They, 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 that they might have like a lisp or they can't speak, you know, in this. I actually think it has enough space for me to actually communicate and be fine. Um, and it gives me enough security, like I said, just to, <clears throat> that added security to actually feel safe. Um, I have no problem with it, you know, conforming to my cheeks a little bit. That's, like I said, it's, it's a helmet. You know, that's the main function of this is to protect my head and my skull. The secondary function is just to have fun, listen to my music, talk to everybody. So, with the main function of this being the helmet, I'm totally fine with that little chin pad right here, you know. Um, and it will break in over time, because like I said, I haven't really put this on as much. So I don't really have any downfalls uh, with, you know, some people saying there's not like a lot of chin space. I think there's enough chin space to actually have a full conversation and everything. And I'm a bigger dude. Uh... So yeah, I mean, rating for this helmet thus far, I'd say, man, this is this is awesome. I give it, you know, if we were giving a rating, well, I wouldn't even give a rating. We're not even going to give them ratings. But uh, I mean, as far as the helmet, man, it's it's, it's been awesome thus far. Um, like I said, the only thing that I do need is that pin lock visor, um, which you know I'm glad that they have everything already in set for me to put it in. Now I just need to, you know, go ahead and buy that extra piece, which is totally fine because I actually got this these I think retail. For like three or four hundred bucks and we ended up getting this for a steal like almost like 200 bucks with the tax you know so i got it for a steal um didn't have to spend that extra like 500 bucks on you know a helmet and i didn't want to do the whole 700 bucks cena with the mic and everything inside and the the camera on top because i didn't want anything to break on the camera and i just like the stabilizations of the gopro and the insta uh 360s at the moment so I mean, I'm really enjoying this helmet, guys. Uh, I'd say pick it up if you're looking for a low model Cena just to get into. If you're not really connecting to a lot of people, um, if you have more people, I'd say go for like the Momentum uh, INC, which is I think that connects to like eight. Um, if you have more people, but if you have something you know base like me, um, this I think is it's it's perfect. It's awesome. Like I said, four people is awesome. You know, I think most of the connectors, I think, are two to four people, too. The ones that you actually put on to your helmet first, uh, Senna. But just having everything in the base model to, like I said, to one, negate as much drag. Because I'm already going to have a GoPro on this to, when we do the vlogging. Um, I think it's just the best bet for me, man. So, yeah, man. Uh, thanks, guys, for, you know, watching this mini breakdown review mini unboxing that we're doing this is you know it will be the helmet that we're running with and white though i didn't feel like i wanted to go with white i know a lot of people are like white helmet but i think this white helmet is actually really nice um and it gives me a lot of space too because i was telling my guys you know if i want to do something later on in this helmet where you know i draw or every time we go somewhere and we meet somebody else we do like autographs on the helmet or something you know it gives me a lot of room to do something like that and also i think just for vision too you know, at night, a lot of people don't see the, the black helmets, you know, and hopefully they'll be able to see me with the white, you know. But yeah, guys, it's been Overzealous Brainiac. You guys, thanks for all the love for all the videos and different things that I've been doing. Have a great day. You know, don't let any of that negative energy come your way. You know, just be positive and happy. And uh, love you guys. Peace.